Rich Hazel Citrus Facial Toner. I like to do this before my makeup. I'm going to be concealing my eyebrows with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and with just an angled brush. And I'm just gonna blend out with a beauty blender. Moisturize and prime my face. So I recently got this ordinary, um, it's like a silicone primer, but it's like a moisturizer as well. And it was at Sephora and it was like super cheap. And like, I still don't know what it does. Like, I think it covers my pores because it's like silicone. But, like, I'm, I don't know. I just use it, but. I'm not sure I like it, I like it. And I usually set my primer using the airspun. It just, I, what did I see? I think it was Jackie Ann, Jackie Aina, Jackie Aina, something like that. She sets her primer because she's like super oily and I'm super oily as well. And it gives you like more of a full coverage, but I just set it because it controls my oil and Honestly, I like it. It's better if you do it with um, a dry beauty blender just because it like packs the product in more than a wet beauty blender. I really like how this um, concealer is for my eyelids. I tried using the Fit Me for my eyes and it gets oily and crazy. So the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea is perfect and it's in the color light. I'm just gonna set that with powder, like bake my eyelids, but not really. I just let it sit there for a second or two. I'm gonna be using an oldie, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, and I will be using the Anastasia Prism palette. I love these so much. So I'm gonna start off by doing burnt orange and raw burnt orange and Rossiana on the crease as transitions and like while I'm doing that I'm like wiping away the powder and with the same dirty brush we're gonna go in with love letter in the crease as well like layering them kind of and um, we're going to do a half cut crease, so you really want to make it um, on the outside. You look super pretty. Really? I'm going to edit this because I look like crap. Se que estaba llorando. A little bit. Were you? No. Now with like a pointed brush, like this one. This one's from Morphe, but it came from like a set. I'm gonna go in with red ochre. Hey, I think I love my black drink. With this one, we're gonna go in with a little bit of barrel and the same brush. And we're just going to focus it here, going in. And then we're going to go and cut the crease, or just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, and I'm going to be using this Real Techniques brush, and with the same concealer
Okay, and then I'm just gonna get my beauty blender and like tap it. And then for the shimmer that I'm gonna put on top, it's gonna be the single eyeshadow from Anastasia and it's called Pink Champagne and it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna be using this Morphe fat um fat flat brush and some MAC Fix Plus. These little bottles are so convenient. And then I'm just gonna get some. And I'm just gonna go in with like no product. Just gonna blend this in a little bit. And then with Vermeer, I'm not gonna spray the brush because this is just like stunning by its own. I'm gonna do my brow bone highlight. Wow. Just gonna blend that a little bit. And I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So I just finished both eyes and I'm gonna be applying the falsies. I ordered some dodo lashes, but they're taking forever to come in. So meanwhile, we're gonna be with these. Okay, lashes are on. It took me like literally 25 minutes, but they're on. I'm gonna be using this wet and wild mega liner in the color black, and I'm just gonna um do the line. I'm not going to do a winged eyeliner. I'm just going to do a liner so like it blends in. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the face. And like I already primed my face. So I just go on with foundation. I am going to be using the Milani foundation. And it's in the color O2 Neutral. It is like the perfect match. What I do is like I always spread it around first. And with like a concealer brush, I just go in. And then I go in with a real techniques brush and I just buff it all in. And this is actually a contouring brush, but I love it so much to blend my foundation. It just blends it out so pretty. And then with the beauty blender, I just go in. And this just makes sure there's like no streaky lines from the brush. Now I'm going to go in with my... Maybelline concealer not a lot because I've covered basically my whole face I'm just gonna take off my foundation look now I'm going to bake my under eyes. And I am going to cream contour. I'm going to be using the Pro um, Concealer, the Allegra, mm -hmm. and Toast. And then I'm just going to get these beautiful brushes from Sephora. Oh my god, this part. Yeah, then with this part, before I use it for a contour, I'm just going to wipe it away using my Kat Von D contour palette. I'm going to be using these two shades.
Okay, whenever I do add too much, I use the excess one from here, from the foundation, and I just blend it in. Powder, I'll go and clean just a little bit. I'm going to do the lower lash line. And I'm basically going to go in with Love Flutter and a little bit of Red Ochre. And I'm just going to add some bottom mascara. This is the Urban Decay Pro version. I'm going to go in with the bare mirror and put it in the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the bake off. You know, on eye spray, always. Glow kit from Anastasia and we're gonna go in with a little bit of Midstone and Tampling. Blush. We really want to get like that pinky flirty look so Tarte blush palette. You have to get this. They still have it, I think. I'm gonna go in with these three. <sighs> Super pigmented, so be careful. Last but not least, lips. We're gonna be going with these three lip combos. I'm gonna apply this one, and then this one, and then this one is a top glossy coat. So, yeah. 